what is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, back at it again for a brand new episode of our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough. If you guys are excited for this and you want to show some support, I would really appreciate it, appreciate it if you guys hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. All that good stuff. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this series by sharing this video with your friends. All that good stuff. Help me hit my end of the year goal of 350 subscribers. By the end of the year, that would be absolutely fantastic. I don't know if we will or not, but, you know, I thought that would be really, really cool. So, obviously in the last episode, we didn't get too much done. Uh, obviously, we came here and we defeated, well, we defeated Electrode a couple episodes ago. But in the last episode, we had to gather as much stuff as, as Pokemon as we can to get to the next rank. That way we could get to the, um, I think it's the Coronet Highlands, or where, wherever the last place is that you gotta go. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get there on camera, so I had to finish grinding off camera, and, and we did, right? We did. We absolutely did. Also, we got some nicknames and stuff. I think we had those in the last episode, so uh, no need to explain any of them. But this is the team, a little bit of a recap. We got Snipes. The Hisuian Samurai. We got Lily, the Hisuian Lilligant. We have Pixie, the Sylveon. We have the Boss, our Full Odd Shiny Honchcrow. We got Scorch, the Shiny Rapidash, the Full Odds one that, or the uh, static one that you get from the uh, from the story. And then we got Axe Murder, our Cleaver. So I'm very very excited about this. Honestly, we we didn't get too much stuff like off camera. But we didn't really do too much. Honestly, I just... I completed a lot of dex entries and stuff like that. I mean, that's all we basically did. Uh, there's nothing really to report. I do have... I do. I did just find one single little satchel. So, we'll do that. And now... And now, we, we head back to, uh, back to the town. Uh, so that way we can, you know, talk to... Talk to, uh... Silene and uh, get to our next rank and then we can head to the last place we got to because we have to quell our last and final noble which is Avalug and we finally have to get the ability to fly on Braviary and stuff too so that is going to be fun because we really really do need to uh, need to uh, we need to finish up this game the one thing I will have to say uh, and this is not a bad thing right I actually think this is a good thing uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus is probably the longest Pokemon game I've ever played. And like I said, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Because it is fantastic that it actually takes me more than... It actually took me more than two or three days to actually beat the game. So, which is pretty cool. And I don't mean like two or three days straight. You could probably beat this game in a day or two if you played it straight. But unfortunately, I don't do this for a living so I can't play this straight. And I don't have much of a life, but I do have a job, so I <laughs> unfortunately cannot sit and play every single second of every day. Although, when this did come out, I think I played, like, I think I went to the midnight release of this game, and I got home, and I played for, like, six hours, and then went to bed, got up the next day, and ended up playing for, like, another eight hours straight, and I didn't beat the game. I think it took me almost a week. To beat the game of playing, you know, a few hours every day, so. But, yes, have you made progress on your research tasks? If you have progress report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Alright, yeah. Finally, I can get to the next, uh, star. The final star. We don't have to worry about this anymore. Because you are not required to get to another star in, in, in the main story, right? Because they force you to get other stars, but now they will not force you to anymore. So if we don't want to catch Pokemon, we don't got to catch anything. Because guess what? We are not... I don't know if we'll do the full Arceus thing, at least on this playthrough, because of the fact that... You know, I just... I don't want to have to complete the Pokedex again. It's already quite a hassle on my main playthrough, so... Um, once Pokemon Home Capability comes out, maybe I'll transfer some stuff over, but... Hmm. you made progress. It seems you've earned yourself a star. Yeah, was fifth star? Yeah, it is. I just got the eighth star. Yeah, on my main playthrough. With this, you have officially attained the rank of fifth star at the Galaxy Expedition Deep. You can now use wing balls. Pokemon up to level 65 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have this as well. It's a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Yeah, alright, cool. 
Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope if you hope to rise higher in the ranks. Sorry, for a second, I did not think I was recording. I was like, oh no. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps to I can task with surveying the Owl Blaster Iceland. That's the last place, yeah. The Corner Islands is where we just were. You know your orders. See your mission through. Alright, nice. We'll, uh... Well, I think we're Gucci now. I think we can head out. And we can uh, head out towards, you know, that place. So, that's, that's cool. By the way, I apologize if you guys can hear sirens outside. I don't know why they're blaring right now. Hopefully, this mic doesn't pick it up, but I don't know. So, we're, make, we're the make for the Alblaster Icelands. That's right. I see. Of course, I'm all too aware of the injuries done to some of our own good people because of the frenzies of the other nobles. There seemed like no little choice but to intervene. But this Avalug out in the Alblaster Icelands hasn't harmed a soul as I hear it. Does it really behoove us to go all the way out to subdue him? If, Al if Avalux is great and mighty as they say, he could very well cause avalanches. Avalanches don't require any Pokemon's help. They occur perfectly well on their own, you know. I confess I still have my doubts whether we should even be getting involved in this case. No damage has been done so far, but if we were to send Nitro G out there, we'd be putting him in danger of real harm. But if the Lord is suffering in his frenzy like people say, then wouldn't it be kinder to quell it? There's so, there's simply so much we don't we don't yet understand when it comes to the noble Pokemon. We don't know whether their frenzy truly are causing them to suffer, nor do we know why they enter these states in the first place, or if this is connected to somehow the space-time rift. What is it, I wonder? The commander hopes to to come from quelling out the nobles, or indeed from surveying any of the Pokemon of this land. What is it he hopes to achieve? I certainly I certainly hope so. The goal of my research is to help build a future where everyone gets along with Pokemon. Professor Laventon? Ah, uh, no, nothing to bother yourselves about. Doubtless I'm just being a silly sausage. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna start calling my friends that. You silly sausage. <laughs> You've got a mission to carry out, haven't you, Nitro G? Then we'll support you in it. The best support I can offer you now is another chance to practice your battle skills. I'm gonna win. I'm glad to help. I'm glad to get the opportunity to battle you. The fact that I've been able to grow so much as a Survey Corps member and work together with Pikachu is due to you joining us. I really wish that I could battle Laventon. That would be really, really, really cool. At some point, I wonder if that'll be like a DLC or something. Alright, so, we got two fairy types out here. Uh, I remember on my main playthrough, though, this Mr. Mime was a pain in the ass. So, I don't think we stay in with this thing. Um, honestly, I don't know who we even go into. We have nothing that's super effective against it. Uh, do we just stay in and play rough I mean his special defense is raised not his defense well actually actually it doesn't really matter because I think it raises both defenses in this game so it doesn't really matter which one we do but we all call it in two hits which is nice and then I know you have a Pikachu but what's your last one I can't remember I cannot remember okay he's got to use Iron Tail so hopefully it's not a Pokemon that we need to take out with Pixie what should be <laughs> for some reason she just has like a dragon item. I'm like wait a minute it's not even in this game <laughs> let's go into axe murder for this and we will we will rock slide that is our best bet you can oh we missed that now he's gonna eye your tail again god damn it dude axe murderer you had one single job dude was to hit, was to hit that oh great Alright, well, we're gonna come out with Billy then. This thing isn't gonna be able to do anything to me. I just thought we'd be able to hit a rock slide, that's all. We're gonna hit this thing with a leaf blade. Yeah, get out of here, Pikachu. I should have just done this in the first place, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, yeah, it's the Staravia. Well, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. But, you know, we, also, we had a really good Pokemon for this thing. But, uh, for some reason, he wanted to miss a rock slide, so... Looks like we're gonna have to go into... 
We're going to Snipes, I guess. I don't really think there's a reason not to. But he isn't really built around the uh, focus of battling because obviously this game does not have a um, does not have a, uh, a focus on battling, which kind of sucks. But I think they might be trying to though, because obviously they have in that new DLC that just came out. There's um. Uh, there's something so natural about the sight of you and your Pokemon fight together. Obviously, they let you see you could battle some here in the town, which is kind of cool with, like, the, the dude from Pokemon Black and White and stuff. About your mission in the Icelands. Well, it'll be a challenge. Be careful out there. I mean, I'll try, bro. As for me, I'll set off the Elblaster Icelands forthwith. See you there, my boy. Why can't we just go together? Why can't we just go together, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, too bad they don't provide the same shiny chance anymore. Or maybe I'd go check it out. Oh, God. Yeah, with the new update, unfortunately, the regular mass outbreak shiny chance is, like, no different than the regular full-odd shiny chance. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I've heard that now the only way to get shinies is, like, an increased chance is the massive mass outbreak method, which you can't reset for. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can do... Um, Mass outbreaks as well. Oh, there's a little bit of a lighting glitch around my feet there. I don't know if you guys just saw that. My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Glad to see you made it safe and sound in any case. Very few venture into the Outblaster Icelands, apart from the, the Hua leading the odd supply corps excursion to gather materials. But the survey corps, of course, must go anywhere the Pokemon are found. From what I gather, Ice Peak Arena, whether you'll find Avalug is, is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless in this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. Learn all fo all that you can from Iridon and Adamant to try to keep yourself safe. Nitro G. Breast got hair, isn't it? How are you freezing? Freezing? I'm, practic I'm practically sweating. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could. As long as you you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell us where we gotta go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is, you're talking about the, the Garrick fellow, right? Fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalug's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be headed somewhere even colder? Where else, indeed? Ready to go, Nitro G? Hell yeah, bro, I'm ready. Sure, stop off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalug's Legacy, Nitro G. Take care on your way. Alright, bro. I don't really... Alright, cool. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I should bother catching any of these Pokemon, to be honest with you guys. Strictly because of the fact that it's like, do we really need... It's like, I'm not worried about creating or completing the Pokedex on this, on this playthrough. So it's like, I almost just jumped here because I forgot that... Uh, You already have one of those, right? I mean, I guess it wouldn't be wouldn't hurt just to. Oh, you stop moving. Oh, come on, man! I don't really care. I'm not wasting my pokeballs because I'm pretty sure we already have one. But I almost just jumped because I forgot we don't have uh, Braviary yet, which we should, which we will be getting very soon. So that's that's kind of cool. Can't, can't you find, like, alpha, um, uh, mammoth swines? Because if I remember, I, I I don't think I saw one on my main playthrough, but I've seen some other people find them, which is kind of cool. I think there's a lot of Pokemon I haven't found yet, even on my main playthrough, that other people have found. Not, like, alpha Pokemon and stuff like that, like, I don't know. Okay, we gotta find a good voice for this dude. 
Well, that was a real slog. Fighting through those miserable icy winds to reach this desolate bit of nowhere. Well done, us. This gentleman is Avalug's warden and my most honorable teacher, Garrick. Show some respect, Adamin. Alright. Let's begin with some proper introductions. I am Garrick. I serve as one of the Proclean's wardens. Just imagine him actually talking like that. This is like the best voice I could give him. And you must be Nitro D, right? Of the Galaxy team? Hell yeah, I am, bro. You heard of me? <laughs> I'm something of a legacy myself. Answer me this, would you? On what grounds do you come here seeking to quell Lord Avalog? Uh, I was commanded to. Just do what I told, bro. That leads to my next question. What's wrong with him being frenzied? I didn't... I clicked too fast. Can I have another question? Setting aside any orders, what does your heart tell you to do? To quell his frenzy. Our mighty lord of the Chandra Avalog has done nothing to trouble any person or Pokemon. Sir, please try to keep your cool. For, for now, indeed, Avalog's causing no trouble. But aren't we also duty to bound f to free our po people from living in a fear of such a class of Pokemon? Might be to begin to wreak heaven at any moment? We are. You're certainly some logic to that. But, if that's what you, you hope to accomplish, then, we must judge whether this child is up to the task. Who cares about the grandstanding? Let's get to battling. Let's start. My, muscle, my, my, my musculature is hard and unyielding as ice. Think you can break through? Yes. Y yes, I do. Because you've got a Glalie, and I'm going to leave with Pixie, which has Mystical Fire. So we should be good. Oh, he's got a Frost Blast, too. But that does a lot. Dude. Fudge off. Like, honestly. I'm so sick and tired of this game having bullcrap priority. Alright, we're just going to hit you with a Mystical Fire. Get out of here, and it doesn't help, though. Well then, because why would it Oko at the end of the day, right? All right, really. you're gonna come out and drain punch. I mean, they literally won't be able to attack again. So, Potter Snow, I was afraid of you that. But you know, we'll go for this. Knock you out. And then we'll go into uh, Scorch, I think, for for this. So, we're going to Scorch now. And we'll be able to Flame Charge, which should be, which should be okay, right? More of a physical attacker anyways. Also, this is the last video where you guys will see this crappy chair behind me as well. So, I got a brand new gaming chair. But, uh, actually, it's not the last video. You guys will see it for the next two. Because, actually, possibly the next three. Because it depends on if I, because I'm putting together the chair tomorrow. Because I don't have time today. And I don't know if I'm going to record my video before... I don't know if we're going to record our uh, Pokemon... Uh, our uh, other one before that or not. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smashed me through, through and through. I suppose you can get on with it now. This one's alright. Thank you, sir. Some may still have their doubts about a stranger like Nitro G, but I'll vouch for him. Jen, if you insist on calling Avalog's frenzy, you want to claim some of that external ice he likes and bring it to my lord's seat. Good luck. Eternal, eternal ice? For that, you'll have to be able to fly, which means you need bravery. Long story short, you've got to seek out a young lady named Sabi. Tell the long, tell the long story long. You're not saving any time if we waste puzzling it out what you mean. Isn't Avalog one of the Pearl Clans, Lord? Seems a bit odd for me to do the talking. But fine, listen up. I clicked too close. But to get there, you need my clan's help. Not even a sneezer can climb to the surface, let alone a person like you or me. You're going to have to be a, to approach my air with Braviary's help. Garrick once managed to climb nearly to the top of Agalove's legacy, I have you know. He says he made it within six feet of the top. Might make, 
might makes right, or at least height. What in the world are these things that they say sometimes, bro? And uh, what about Sabi? How do I put this? Even when she's not flying around with Braviary, she's got her head in the clouds. Well, when would you understand? Well, you'll understand once you meet her. Head towards the Snowpoint Temple, and you'll probably come across her sooner or later. What? Sabi. My clairvoyance told me that I'd lead you on a chase. Think you can reach me? I see what you mean about Sabi, but why would you, why would she be up there? Seems you better focus on pursuing Warden Sabi, and let me for focus on my workout while I still can. All right, man. I mean. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I kind of, I almost wanted to catch a bird, mate. God damn it, bro. I almost wanted to catch one. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna use it on this playthrough, but unless we find a shiny one for some reason. But. All right, come on, Savi. Hello, my name's Savi. Nice to meet you, Nitro G. Same to you, I guess. I've heard about you. You're super talented, right? I bet you're going to be fun to play with. I know why you're here, too. You want Braviary's help so you can quell Avalog's frenzy, don't you? Well, you'll get it. If you can catch me first. Let's go, Braviary. Hey, bro, why do I got to run around and catch this girl? I mean, were you, like, really... Like... Disregarded that much as a, as a child that you that I need to freaking catch you. Where, where are we? Where... All right, well, well, I'm just gonna keep running, I guess. Um, which also, I've been I've been talking about shiny Pokemon stuff, and it seems like in this game, shiny Pokemon are easy to get, however. You know, people really talk about, you know, finding all these full-odd shinies, right? I've seen so many people talk about full-odd shiny Pokemon in this game, and I don't really understand because I have not. I have not found... I have found one single full-odd shiny Pokemon in this, and any other ones I've had to hunt for. So I don't understand why people are talking about, like, shiny Pokemon being so easy to catch in this game. Because they really, really... I guess other people are just more... My luck for shiny Pokemon has never been good. I've always had bull crap luck with trying to find shiny Pokemon. Always, my entire life. Like full odd shiny Pokemon, I think I found three. If you count, I I think if you count the one in this one and in Let's Go, technically I found four full odd shinies, right? But really, the ones that are like one in four thousand, I've only found two, right? I found a shiny Lickitung. I did. I've never found a, sh a full odd shiny. In over 20 years of playing Pokemon, it took me until Pokemon X and Y to find a full-odd shiny, which was a shiny Lickitung, and then I found a shiny Steenie in Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Nitro G. You made it all the way up here in this cold. But the question is, did you catch me? Or did I let myself get caught, hmm? Oh, and one more thing. Am I even really clairvoyant? I have no idea. Hmm, no one but me could really know, right? Uh, anyway, the challenge continues. The next stop of our Mary Chase is still Boy Temple. But the real question is, question here is, am I really having fun playing with you? Or am I bored, hmm? I really could not tell you. Let's go, Braviary. Bro, I really, really could not tell you. I don't know why you're asking me that. This seems like a really weird question to ask me, bro. This seems like it's something you gotta ask. Look it within and ask yourself. Okay, um. Alright, I'm just gonna not use me here. Alright, so. Oh, 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 god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh. I slipped. No, I lost seven of those balls, bro. I just slipped. Wow. 
I didn't realize that that was such a sharp cliff face. And I thought I could kind of slip my way down. But for some reason, I just went a little bit and the game it just decided to push me all the way to the ledge. And you didn't even fall that far. That's the thing. It's like it's not even that far that you fell. And it just killed me. That's so stupid. Like, come on, bro. Get out of here, Lily. I, I don't even want to even deal with you. I've had to deal with you so much in this game. Especially when I was just trying to catch the, the Thunderous. Right? It's like, I was just trying to catch the sun, the thunder, and all you wanted to do was sit there and piss me off the whole time because I couldn't catch you because you just kept irritating me. Why can't I? Okay. I was like, why can't I go? Go up there. You can catch Gligars here? I actually didn't know that. Alright. Let's go. And I don't understand why they're... Why is Sneasel the only Pokemon in the game that you can get both the both versions of? Like, any other Pokemon that you can get other versions of, you can't get... Like, like you can't get regular Lilligan or Braviary or Basculin in this game. Yet, you can get Sneasel, regular Sneasel and Johto Sneasel. It's like, why? Hi again, Nitro G. It's nice having someone new out here to play with. Safety in numbers, after all. Anyways, here's Snowboy Temple. I've opened the door, the front door for you. Just a little more chasing left for you to do. But the real question is, am I really having fun playing with you, or am I bored? Hmm? Or could you just shut up? I've heard what Warden Savy said. If you have Warden Savy's approval to enter, then I'll by, by all means do so. But be warned, those who cannot solve the temple's puzzle won't get very far within. I've heard that the trick is to fail. Okay, yeah, 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 dude. I don't know why you're talking to me. I, I, I didn't talk to you first, so you could just shut up, bro. That would be great. Like, I could really care less what you have to say. I've already done this. I know how it works. So, I'm not really worried about it. Um... But I think you gotta go. Because one of these takes you down to, um... Uh, okay, yeah, this is Regigigas. Never mind. Okay, I knew one of the... One of the paths took you down to Regigigas. The other one took you somewhere. But... Uh, Regigigas was... Very disappointed that you couldn't catch the other Regis in this, but you could catch Regigigas. It's very weird. Or was it Regigigas released in... Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Because you only had the three regular Re Reggies in in the original game. In, uh, I think, I don't remember. Whatever it is. Okay, so that is... Alright, so we got Rock. We got Rock. Steel. Rock, Steel, Ice. Okay. Okay, yeah, rock, steel, ice. Rock, steel, ice. Open. Open sesame. Two, two. Open sesame. Well, that's all I got. Alright, so. Alright, so we got ice. Ice, rock, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, steel, okay, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, steel, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice, I believe it was, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice, yes, ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Okay, so we got ice, rock, steel, rock, ice. Did I get it right? Okay, I think we did, actually. Cool. 
Awesome. So now we just have this last one to do. And this is probably going to be worth me writing it down because otherwise I'm going to end up screwing it off. Screw it. Uh, okay. Um, all right. So I'm just going to do this. I have a little notepad set up here so I can. All right. So which one do we start at, though? I can't remember. Um, I think it was this one. So we got ice. God, I have fat fingers, bro. Ice. Ice, steel. Ice, steel, and then that goes to this one. Two, oh God. Oh, God. Ice. Okay. Ice, steel, ice. Um, there isn't another one down here, right? Oh, God. Okay. So, if this one's rock. Or is this steel? That's steel. So, you got steel, ice, steel, ice. Okay, so you got steel. Steel, ice, or is this rock? Ah, uh, yeah. I keep, I always get the, the rock and the ice mixed up. So we got steel, ice, rock, ice. Um, and then we have this one, which is ice. Yeah. Ice, steel. Ice, steel. Um, right, I mean, this one, rock, ice, okay, steel, rock, alright, alright, so we got rock, we got steel, ice, rock, ice, steel, rock, steel, ice, rock, ice, rock, Hopefully we get this right in the first try, so I don't got to keep doing this. So we got steel. Ice. Rock. Ice. Steel. Rock. Press the panels. Awesome. Awesome. You see, guys, you just have to have... Now that Gallade's going to pop up here, too, I believe. And if we're going to deal with that, we should probably use Snipes. But... We already have a Ralph. I don't know. Yeah, you do, but... You can never have too many Ralphs. Alright, um... As I just run by another one because I don't really need it. Unless maybe the Glade doesn't pop up every time. I guess it doesn't. Okay, so. Um, yeah, all right. We're going to lead with Axe Murderer because she's going to have the Electivire and Mag Mortar. So. I guess I've been caught. So we're nearly done. Hey, recommend it. Remember my clairvoyance? It showed me something. I saw you flying with Braviary. Do you think that'll come to pass? I'll make sure it does. Well, however the future turns out, flying with Braviary isn't easy. If you really want to be able to fly high in the sky, prove to me you're strong enough. Gonna take us on? Yep. Or I should have said hang on. Okay, alright, alright. Because we should just end off the episode. But you know what? You guys might get us. Like, oh, yeah, she's got ripe here, here too. Forgot about that. Okay, um, I'm gonna aim for you first and take you out of the rock slide. Okay, you're gone. Agile style, thunder wave. Well, that kind of sucks. 
But you're going to use a rock and take me out. Yeah, go ahead. Shrive style rock slide is going to take me out. 100%. Yup. Alright, um... You know what, I'm just going to do this just so we can take out the right barrier. Like, I don't even really care about the, in the, the electrifier too much. Like, I will... Um... We're going to Aqua Tail now, and we should just take out the, uh, the barrier. And we do. I want to go for a Thunder Wave anyway, because we're good. Gonna have horsepower me. Wow, that does a lot. I mean, it is a right here. So, we are seven, seven levels under it. So, <laughs> right, you're gonna thunder wave me. Um, you know what? I'll just go for a strong style Cesar's Edge, and we should just, and we get paralyzed. Well, uh, we would have been good, but. Unfortunately, I decided to play games. Uh, we'll go. We'll go into uh, Pixie and just play rough. I think. I think that's our best bet. I mean, this thing isn't gonna have really anything that can touch us anyway. So, look at that. Look at that. Get out of here, my guy. All right. So we're good. We are good. We are Gucci, bro. Wow. You caught us and you beat us. You're one on our game so far, but Braviary still wants to get to know you even better. Up to the roof we go. Up to the roof we go in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Legends Arcus, let me know by hitting that like button down below. Subscribing if you guys are new. From now on, the series is going to be in high mode. Push it on to get to the next, to get to the end of the end of the game. So if you guys are excited for this, make sure you let me know down below by hitting that like button. But that, that is it from me. So like I, like I say at the end of every episode, I'm the Nature General. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Nature General is out. Peace.